Three more minutes. Please give the man a call.
I'm just going to do it in the way that I use the other. Just take a seat. Just take a seat. Just take a seat. We are not done. diversity of what I see. Uh, within uh, one floor, I think I traveled through uh, almost the whole world of massage uh, throughout time and throughout space. I saw absolutely everything within just three or four rooms. It was very impressive, so congratulations to all of you. Today I will talk about a project that we put together uh, with my uh, friends and colleagues, uh, who is Ivan here, who is the president of the European Massage Association. Uh, from Santina that you just saw, who is our colleague and vice president of Hello. the European Massage Association. Hello! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. My lovely Nico, who's here. We love you, Nico! And myself. So, what happened is last year we came to Copenhagen and we absolutely loved this project. We were so impressed by JP, by the, the, the event itself, 
uh, that uh, Ivan uh, called us up and said, my dream is to do something similar to this, and we have to do a European Massage Championship. So immediately a few weeks after that was born the European Massage Association that we created in Italy. And uh, as some of you know, we have the European Massage Championship now. So the question is, really, <laughs> What do we do and who are we? Nice. So, as you know, these two wonderful people are therapists. Uh, Nico is actually a scientist, uh, and I'm more in business and media, but I'm absolutely a massage lover. I massaged for a while, but I always consider that you people are wonderful, and, and every time I see you massage, I get so much out of it. I'm just, say, an amateur who is in love with massage. Um, but the, associate, the association that we created, what does this, uh, what do we do? We created the European Massage Championship, largely based, when I say largely based, is to not say copy, uh, we just wanted to do something very similar and make another celebration of massage and massage therapists. So we created the European Massage Championship. Some of you know, some of you saw it on social media. Uh, we did this earlier this year um, in Spilamberto in Italy, in a lovely castle. Uh, we had about 100 participants and 150 people who came, uh, and it was a, a wonderful success, and it was a lot of fun. Um, so, I have some videos, but as far as I understand, we do not have sound. But I will show you a little bit of a video, and we're very serious here in uh, our championship. You see there's quality, there is... Diversity also, we see some of you great therapists uh, working. But also what we love is that it turned out to be very fun. It was just a wonderful time. We realized that by doing, creating this event, we were always uh, laughing, except me because I was so stressed about working at the event. But those who came had a lot of fun as you see. And mostly JP, as you will see in a little second, uh, seem to have quite a bit of fun. Uh, but in here there's a six hand massage. Uh, Constantina oh, is you taking care of it. She considered I was this cold and so she funny. had to put socks on me. So this is during the days in preparation. Ah, we kill you after. And here you will see our other friends, our judge, and our friend Jippe, who was very happy not to organize and just... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, was a, it was just great. <laughs> we realized, again, thanks to Jippe, that we could learn from each other, that we could uh, network, and you do business and so on, but that also we could have fun and that these events were new things. And for us, we think that we are at the beginning of something which is absolutely huge. Um, you can say that again. make the community bigger and, and, and continue it throughout the year. So what we did is just create the Facebook group. Um, and uh, what we will do now this year is EMA, so the European Massage Association, throughout Europe will start to organize little meetings of therapists together. So it would be just like here, except not 200 people, maybe five people. That we can get together and we can talk and we can exchange experiences. Because the truth is, so many times we stay in our spa or we stay in our, in our practice and we don't meet uh, sufficiently our peers and learn and exchange with them. So Facebook is great. I love social media. But in real life is good too, so we are cre creating these meetups. The question is how we will do these meetups throughout all the countries. Well, now we are starting to recruit what we call our country managers. And these country managers will help us animate the community country by country. Uh, this to us is uh, important for linguistic issues. Maybe some of you have no idea what the hell I'm saying, and that's why we want country managers <laughs> who speak the language um, in every European country. 
Um, so here we have a little hello, and uh, again, sorry for the sound. We have, sorry, uh, Elisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our our, um, our French country manager who's saying hello to you in French, and here is Daliana, our Romanian country manager, saying hello to you in English. And this is a message for you participants that we don't have the sound. Anyways, at least you see our lovely country managers. They may they may found it in the. Uh, you, you could find it on social media, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, the next step for us also is to animate this community, but we want to do a lot, and I'll come to this in a second. We want to make this a big community, a strong community of massage therapists. We think we all benefit from uh, getting together and so on. So we are doing a membership um, website where you will have a certain number of benefits. These, uh, the, these paying memberships will give you a certain amount of benefits, which are discounts on championships, including, of course, the European Massage Championship, uh, discounts on massage products, uh, oils, towels, tables, all the consumables which you need. Uh, we will be supporting a cause. We are still looking. But it is our common dream. We all immediately said yes to this which was, if we bring in a little bit of money, what we would like to do is to give some money to a cause, some people who are using massage for good. For example, people who uh, massage the sick in hospitals. Um, we are currently looking into financing a, an association which does this. Um, and finally, uh, our members will get a membership badge like this, which will show that they adhere to our principles and code of ethics, which will be available on our website uh, in the coming days. Uh, so these are this is the basis of the membership. <clears throat> now we have a free Facebook group, and this we invite you all to come and join us in this Facebook group. We talk about different things. We can talk about the weather, but we can talk about how to organize your next special therapy. There's a lot of discussion going on throughout all of the European. Uh, therapists who are in the group already. It's expanding extremely fast and we invite you all to come be part of this free Facebook group to talk and just to have fun with other therapists. Um, to find, you easily find it on Facebook uh, and one of the ways if you just want to click you go to our Instagram and our profile link is directly to the group so you can uh, sign up there. Um, <clears throat> ah yes so this coming week we will have a quiz with some questions, uh, which you will have the answer by being here, by looking at our channel, and so on and so forth. And we will have some prizes. Uh, probably in about two weeks, we will give out the prizes. Two, three weeks. The prizes are one year membership for free, an invitation to the European Massage Championship, and an Emma t-shirt, almost like this one. Um, now, a, a quick word about the future. We wondered what, what, is, what is it that we can do more for the therapist? Uh, what is the, 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 the future of these associations like the international and the European Massage Associations? We think so far what's going on is that I see what you're posting, you see what I'm posting, it's therapists looking at therapists, looking at therapists, looking at spas, looking at wellness, looking at aestheticians. It's, it's, it's great. This is already a great beginning. We are starting to get together. But all our communication so far is looking inside to each other. In the future steps, in the coming months, what EMA wants to do, what EMA, the European Massage Association, wants to do is for its members to start to turn outside to the world not just between our th therapists, but start getting the outside public in. This means, concretely speaking, it can be making deals with maybe people who are in uh, broader issues of health. It can be uh, people in <coughs> sports, and so on and so forth. We want to start to open our community to the world so that the world can see what is going on in the massage community. I'm sure you all told, how many people told somebody who's outside of our world I'm going to the, to the uh, 
a world championship in massage, you tell the people, how many people had the jaw who fell and said, what is that, right? <laughs> I, uh, I had this five times between my home and the airport. So people do not know all of, about these championships, about the therapists, about the fact that there's innovation, that there's criteria to find good therapists. Of course, there's partially subjective. We talk about this all the time. But the people don't know about this. But so many people get massages. So we want to turn to the outside world and to start to show these championships and start to show these wonderful therapists who are everywhere in the world, everywhere in Europe and the world, and who are getting together and learning and improving and just who are concerned with quality uh, therapies. So that, we think, is the future for our association, and we invite you all to be part of it. So uh, thank you very much from the founders. Uh, Nico, nice picture. Ivan, Constantina, and myself. I'm so glad to be here. Nice picture. Yeah, thank you, Julia. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. Now 10 minutes. But uh, 